Hey everyone, my name is Jay and my name is Josh and I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you can be aware whenever we post a defined, inspiring and godly content. It doesn't bite. What doesn't bite? The button. Jay, don't bite. See? You see? Does it bite? No. It doesn't bite. I, I, I think they get it. They get it. Hello? Papa? It, it, it's me, Martins. Martins? You, you, you need to get up. You, you need to wake up. It... What happened? There, there is a battle going on right now. So I need you to, to wake up. Battle? Yes. In Jesus' name! Every commutation and calculation of demonic oppression against the life! Of your son, I come against it in Jesus' name. Why do the Eden French and the people imagine the same thing? The kings of the earth set themselves against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands and sunder. But he that sit in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall throw them in derision. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gods. That the king of glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Every power of darkness, I break you now in the name of Jesus. I break you now in the name of Jesus. I bind you in Jesus' name. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be invited of here when I do that. That the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? 
the lost tribe in battle. He's the king of glory. In the early hours of this morning, there was a fire accident in Chief Sonya's house. Chief Sonya, who sustained first degree burns, was rushed to the hospital and is now receiving medical attention. The cause of the fire remains unknown, but according to our sources, investigators have gathered at the scene of the incident to gather more findings as to the cause of this mysterious fire. We will be joining now our correspondent, Mr. Tunde, from the Hello, Barbero. Yes, Martins. We'll be joining our correspondent. I'm watching the TV right now. You need to see what I'm seeing. I, I see it. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. I would like to see Chief Duro Sonia. Okay, um, he's upstairs. Thank you for the first time I left. Thank you very much. Sonia. Sonia. Hmm. This much? Another failed advice from a failed friend. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that all you have to say? What else do you want me to say, Sonia? I want you to say how much of a failure you are. You advised me to send Martins out of the house. I did. It failed. You also advised me to invite that herbalist into my own house. I did. And he set me on fire. That too failed. Please, please. What actually happened? Apparently, the herbalist you invited to the house him there to set me on fire. I'm sorry. Look, I swear to God that that quack of a herbalist that you invited to my house and you will pay for everything you have done to me. You will pay for what you have done to my life. And if that is the last thing I would ever do alive, I will make sure that you regret, you regret ever being my friend, ever coming across me in any way. He's dead, sire. What? The herbalist. He couldn't make it. I guess he's not as lucky as you are. What? That's why I keep asking. What, 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 what actually happened? After the herbalist finished the rituals, he asked me to call Martin's name three times. Uh -huh. I did. But he answered by fire. Wow. I cannot survive this shame. I am disappointed in myself to realize that this happened under my watch. I brought in a strange woman into this house. I should suffer the consequences, not you. When you get back from school, you may see my lifeless body on the ground. 
please know that this this was my only escape from this guilt and shame I pray that you will never marry a lady who brings your life to an abrupt end. Goodbye, son. First John chapter 5 verse 4 Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Even our faith. In the name of Jesus, I overcome the world because I am born of God. In the name of Jesus, Christ has delivered me from the power of sin. In the name of Jesus, I am delivered from my past and all the experiences I had with Madame Lizzie. In the name of Jesus, I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. In the name of Jesus. Is everything okay? Oh, doctor. Oh, actually, not too good, but um, I'll be okay. Oh, good. Um, Chief, there's someone right here who wants to see you. Who's that? Mm, he says his name is Frank. Frank? Yes. Frank. He's letting me. In. Okay. Thanks. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, sir. He's coming. I'm right here. So how are you, uh, Frank? I'm doing fine, sir. And how are you feeling today? Uh, same old. The pain can be a little bit uncomfortable. I really need to get out of my on my feet so fast. But sir, how did the fire accident happen? I still ask myself that question. Hmm. I was in a late meeting with this business associate and the next thing I can recall was fire everywhere. It overwhelmed both of us. I remember watching my colleague completely consumed by the fire. I just kept looking. I was so lost. He never seen a human scream so much in pain. For a second, I forgot my hands were on fire. That's not a good experience at all. And how is he? He's dead. Wow. Goodness. You are very lucky, sir. Yes, I was. Wow. He was screaming and shouting in pain. But the fire engulfed him more. It was like the more he screamed, the more he was engulfed in fire. If there is a place truly called hell, I seriously don't want to be there. No, 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 sir. Hell is for thieves, cultists, murderers. People like you have no business there. But sir, when I heard about the fire incidents, the first thing that came to my mind were your enemies. My enemies? What if they plotted this whole fire against you? Sir, you know you have lots of enemies. Frank, you called me and you said there was something very urgent you wanted us to discuss. What exactly is it? Sir, I have, I have been gathering secret information from trusted sources. Yes, I'm listening. Unhealthy information, to say the least. Please go on. And from my little investigation, I have found it to be true, sir. Oh, come on. Go on. High-profile information, sir. What is it, Frank? Your partners in business are having a secret and unofficial meeting with top members to take over your company. Honestly, I still don't understand. Sir, this secret plan is slowly becoming a reality. 
If the right action is not taken, they will take over the company, sir. Sir, you have enemies. You have enemies. They are, they, 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 they are setting this company on fire just the way they set you on fire, sir. Frank, my company? To be, to be frank, sir, your company. That's not possible. I don't see the possibility of that. Sir, they are gathering forces. They are gathering forces. And if they end up having a higher stake over your company, sir, you will lose this company. Legally and officially, this company will cease to be yours. I need to get out of this hospital as fast as possible. I think the only solution is handing over to a new management. Sir, let your son be the CEO. But my son is far away. And the problem is he's not ready to come back. <laughs> sir, if the company that you spent years to build will last one more year, then it has to be under a new management. Because this present management, they are like vultures. They will eat all the potentials of this company. They want to destroy this company down to the ground and then build it up again from the rubbles. Martins must come back home. Yes, sir. The present management must be removed. A new management must be installed immediately. Yes, sir. My son must sit on the helm of affairs. Yes, sir. Sending him off was the greatest mistake of my life. I must right my wrongs by every possible means. Yes, sir. And if by doing so, I burn, yes, then let us all burn together. Yes, sir. And if I die, let's all die together. <coughs> I will not rest until I set my eyes on that boy. Yes, sir. Get me the XIG. Yes, sir. Tell me what's going on here. I've been here for some days. I can't take it any longer. Sir, we want to make sure you have the very best care. We still need to keep you here for observation. Observation? What's there to observe about me? I'm okay, you can see it. The burns were pretty extensive and they could get infected if not well taken care of. We will recommend that um, you stay for at least a week why we treat it and prevent other complications? One week? No, no, that's not possible. What's going on here? Yeah. Sir, it's for your well-being. Dad? Dad? Dad, no! Dad, no! No, no! No, Dad. No, Dad. Don't do Go this. to school. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. School can't wait. You are hurting, Dad. Give it to me. Dele. Give it to me. Dele, it is my body and not yours. Give it to me. Dele, leave this. Give it to me. You are my dad. I look up to you. But when you lose hope, who else do I look up to? Lily. I have failed. <laughs> no, Dad. All I want now is just to be left alone and... and... and die. That's not going to happen. 
I won't give the devil a chance to molest you like he molested me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. <gasps> whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and foes, <gasps> came up against me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp around me, in this, will I be confident? Good afternoon, sir. Hey, Billy, how are you? Fine, sir. I have good news for you, sir. Good news? Yes, sir. Come on, share it. The result of my last test. Okay. 10 over 15? Yes, sir. <laughs> 10 out of 15. Sir, it's been... Five years now since I got above average in any test. Wow, this is good. This is good, Dele. <laughs> yes, sir. I feel like, you know the feeling of buying a new car? Have you ever bought your first car? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, sir, I, 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 I feel so happy. I feel like I've won a contract or a lottery. Something big. I can't thank you enough. I feel so completely delivered now, sir. That is highly impressive, Billy. I know your best is yet to come. I cannot wait for it to come, sir. You should do quick and come on time. Oh, no, you just you just keep studying, keep reading. You know this, you know what they say. You do your best and you leave the rest. Some days ago, I read in the Bible that the entrance of God's word brings light and understanding to the simple. Psalm 119, verse 130. Mm. Ever since I stumbled on that passage. I made a conscious effort to read God's word morning, afternoon, and night. Ah, wow. <laughs> yes, sir. God's word is my spiritual breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And sometimes I snack in between by eating up a few verses. Dede, that's amazing. I'm, I'm impressed. Sir, every time I enter God's word, I notice that the darkness around me withers away. My understanding is enlightened. I learn faster and assimilate better. Though sometimes the devil tries to bring the imaginations of the terrible things I did with Madame Lizzie. But I attack it with God's word every time and I overcome. I am proud of you, Billy. Thank you, sir. You inspired me, sir. I think I know what I want to be after school. Oh, what's that? A teacher. <laughs> Why? I want to be able to help you to who are going through terrible situations just like me, sir. I want to be able to inspire people like you, sir. Yeah, I couldn't have been able to do all this without God. If you didn't release yourself to be used of God, how would you have been a blessing? Teaching is not just about disseminating knowledge. It is about imparting lives. Sir, you didn't see this as just a job. You saw it as a mission field. You saw yourself as a missionary. That's what I want to do, sir. So, you want to be a teacher, missionary? Yes, sir. I'm learning from the best. Ah, <laughs> that's good. So, how's your father? Sir, that's another testimony. Ever since Madame Lizzie's incidents, he has been broken and battered. But with or without his consent, I have been feeding him with God's word. And he has started healing, sir. He has become a better person now. Please, Dele, you know what? Don't stop. Ah, sir, I can't stop. Oh. I can never stop. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I have All a right. class now, sir. All right, take care, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! You know, the Bible says in Romans 5 verse 6 that God commends His love to us that even when we were sinners, Christ died for us. I want to tell you that no matter how much you think you have sinned, no matter how much your sin is, if you can believe and come to God today, He is ready to transform your life like night and day. I want to tell you that God is able to transform you no matter where you are coming from, no matter who you have been, no matter what kind of lifestyle you had before. Once you come to God, God is able to transform you and make you a brand new person like me. God is able to transform you and turn your life around. So yeah, I'm not walking down this path with you again. I'm sorry, I give up. <laughs> Daddy, I know you to be a very brave man. Whatever happened to you? The last time we tried bringing that boy back, see where it landed you. Look at yourself, look at yourself. 
I'm scared of that boy. Why are you scared? Thought about this died in your house, Sonia. I both know what they were trying to do at that time. I'm not ready to go down that route now. I'm not ready. Please. Are you a herbalist? Exactly. I'm not an herbalist. Now, if the herbalist with all his powers can get burnt to ashes. Ah, uh, Abba, Abba. He wasn't born to ashes. Oh. Don't exaggerate. Uh, at least he was born to death. What is my fear if I try to bring him back? I mean, they want to be born to ashes. See, your son is dangerous. I don't know what he has gotten himself into, but he's dangerous. I don't want to have anything to do with him anymore. Now, tell me, what if this old fire incident was a coincidence? Uh, what do you mean? Okay, I'll tell you something. Frank, one of the associates in my company came here yesterday to, you know, share confidential information with me. He said my business partners have marshaled plans to take over the company from me. You know, they want to crush the entire company and use the crumbs to build their own. But the first thing they want to do in actualizing their plans is to start by eliminating me. So how does that concern Martins? That is it! Suppose I dissolve the entire management team, raise a new management team, and put Martins as the CEO. Martins again? Yes. Oh my goodness, that boy is messing with your head. They are desperate, are they? They want me down by all means. They are the real enemies. They are the ones who set my house on fire. And the earlier we got Martins here, the better it is for us. This is your war, Sonia. I can't fight it for you. I can't help you. I have a family, I have, I have children. I have children to care for. What will it be said about me that I died, that, that, that their father died while chasing another man's child? Does it make sense? But you will not die. No, I don't share your faith. I'm sorry, Sonia. My mind is made up. You are the only one I have to turn to. No one else to confide in, buddy. Your plans failed because you don't know my son too well. But I am his father. I know his strengths. I know his weaknesses. Just let me guide you to bring him back home. To perfect our plans. Ladies and gentlemen, you have all done exceptionally well to ensure that the students excel academically. And for that, I really appreciate you. Please, round of applause for yourselves. Uh, your commitment to work and your passion towards the growth of these students is visible, and I really appreciate it. You know, as usual, we celebrate excellence and outstanding performance. That is why this year, as usual, we want to celebrate one of us. <clears throat> He's a passionate young man whose hard work and integrity has endeared him to the students. In fact, he went out of his ways to save a young boy who was going through molestation and assault. And thanks to him, the boy is now a free child. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a resounding ovation to our staff of the year, Mr. Martins Duro Sawyer. Hey, here comes the staff of the year. <laughs> 
I, I didn't see that coming. Honestly, I was I was slightly embarrassed. I, it's so overwhelming. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we are proud of you. We are proud of you. Please keep it up. It means so much to me. The award, I really appreciate it, sir. Bother yourself. Please have your seat. Yes, sir. Um, Trent University in Canada is offering us a special opportunity to train one of our staff for a year. This special program is what they run almost every year. And you know the beautiful thing about the program is that it's a scholarship. So which means your traveling, accommodation, feeding, and the training itself is settled. So immediately I penned down your name or I thought ah, I needed to ask you to know if you are interested. In interested? Yes. Sir. <laughs> I'm interested, sir. You are? I'm very interested, sir. <laughs> that was very good. That was very good. Then I'll just put your details together and then send it to the board office. Uh, That's all. I'm, I'm overwhelmed, sir. <laughs> Honestly. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. You deserve it. Congratulations. <laughs> Please just keep it up, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you, sir. I'm proud of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Yes. Please put me through to the Grand Master. I am Sawyer. Chief Drew Sawyer. First in rank holder of the Secret Seer. I have a pending discussion with him. Yes, the Grand Master. Hello, Sawyer. Grand Master. I had you in the hospital. When would you be discharged? Tomorrow, unfailingly. Wow. I had you had a fire accident. Fire accident it was, Grandmaster. Is it natural or is it deep? Deep, Grandmaster. And I'm made to understand that, um, that there are enemies after my life. They want to bring me down to the ground. And they started the fire. Now, what's your plan? I desperately need the higher powers. Grandmaster, please. Give me the position of the heart of the secret seer. Sawyer, he leads your son to sit on the post of the holder of the secret seer. Then you will be elevated to the post of the heart of the secret seer. It's that simple, Sawyer. But he's not ready to come home. Sawyer, you are his father. Get him ready. Grandmaster. Don't ever call me on this matter again. Right? Nonsense. <laughs> Baba, you need to see today. I, honestly, I was a celebrity today. <laughs> you continue to be celebrated. Uh, I honestly didn't see it coming. <laughs> I saw it coming. You did? It's... You see... When the devil sees a breakthrough ahead of a believer, he runs ahead of the believer and causes breakdown. <laughs> but the Bible tells us that if you pass through the waters, he will be with you. If you pass through the rivers, it will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be born. It will not set to a place. Isaiah 43 verse 2. Yeah, but I keep asking myself, why did the Bible start from the water, the river, then the fire? Why, why the progression do? You see, sometimes, as children of the Lord, it appears as if our challenges and difficulties are increasing every day. <laughs> sometimes we wonder, if such challenges and difficulties will come to an end. When you think you are done passing through the river, the fire will show up. In all this, your faith in the Lord must be strong. Psalm 125 verse 1 says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but abided forever. 
Trust me, I've been through the fire and I don't want to pass through that experience again. Uh, Baba, there is someone at the door. You know what? Let me call you back, okay? Are you expecting somebody? No, I'm not. I'm, I'll call you back. Okay. I will be expecting your call. All right, bye. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Mr. Martins Duro Sonya. <laughs> Martins. Have your suit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, technically that's my line because you're my house. Mm -hmm. But I'll let us like thank you very much all the same. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, great. Great. How's your dad? He's fine. How's yours? He's late. Oh. My condolence. Mm, but my mom is alive though. You know, my mom is late. Oh, my condolence. I know. Thank you. Thank you. So, you have a living mom and I have a living dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, I'm, I'm just thinking that I think they should meet up. And do what? And hang out. What do you say? I'll be sure to let your dad know. Thank you so much for coming by, Inspector General Bade. It's been awesome having you in my house. We've had a very fruitful discussion. Martins. So if you will, sir, the door. Martins. Sir? Sit. Sir? Sit. Mm. 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 Sit. I'm done playing games with you. Your father said me to you. I know. When are you coming back home? There's no going back. There's no home. So I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you so hateful? Oh, he disowned me. That man looked me in the eyes and told me he has lost a son in me. So I'm no man's son. I'm, I'm my own. Your father never disowned you. Hmm. He loved you so much and he still loves you. <laughs> I know this because... Because I was the one that told him to chase out of the house. I was the one who advised him to act as if he disowned you. I was even the one who recommended that I be No. Everything you're passing through, the good, the bad, the ugly, it's all my making. No, 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 no. Yes, Martins. See, I can believe any trash you've been saying since morning, but please don't mention Baba Benro. I wish I could tell you otherwise, but we all are we all are complicit in this matter. Please, please, please get out of my house. Even even the man you trust the most. You there is no there is no perfect world out there. Except the one you have created in your mind. You wanted a perfect father figure. And I give you something as close to that as possible. Get out. Someone you can call dad. Get out. Someone you can call your father. Get out! <sighs> okay. When you're done playing hide and seek, you can come back home to your real father. I ate onions. I ate tomatoes. <laughs> I ate onions. I ate tomatoes. Ah. Hmm. Dele. Yes, Dad. I remember when you were younger. We used to do this. I remember too. Mom be shouting, eat your food, eat your food. Hmm. I miss your mom. 
I miss her too, Dad. I really do. It's amazing. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. To see you happy like this after what we just went through. You know, it's like um it's like just being happy in the midst of a storm. The only reason why I'm happy is because Jesus is in the storm with me. There's a story in the Bible of Jesus and his disciples. They were traveling in a boat and there was a storm. Jesus was sleeping at the lower deck. I used to wonder, how can a man be sleeping in the midst of a storm? In fact, the noise alone should wake him up. But then I, I got my answer. Your answer? Yes, Dad. You remember those times when I was very small and you come to my room to check if I was sleeping or not? <laughs> well, I, I was not really sleeping. Mm. I just closed my eyes. What's that supposed to mean? The Bible says, He that keeps Israel never slumbers nor sleeps. Mm. Mm. Many times, when we are passing through the storms of life, we often think God is absent. But He is not. He is only waiting for us to call on Him. The disciples called on Jesus. He woke up and rebuked the storm. He said, Peace, be still. And there was a great calm. The wind ceased. Many people Instead of turning to Jesus, turn to ungodly alternatives. I hate tomatoes. I hate tomatoes. <laughs> Dad. I was the one who advised him to act as if it is on you. I was even the one who recommended that I be No. Everything you're passing through, the good, the bad, the ugly, it's all my making. I can believe any trash you've been saying since morning, but please don't mention Baba Benro. I wish I could tell you otherwise, but we all are, we all are complicit in this matter. Even, even the man you trust the most. There is, no, there is no perfect world out there, except the one you have created in your mind. You wanted a perfect father figure, and I give you something as close to that as possible. <laughs> Jesus, I would have committed suicide. But my son's faith in you and me, bro. <laughs> Take him my last action. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. Did he say? You can steal the storm. I am passing through a storm, Jesus. It's a storm of depression. Come and silence this storm. Jesus, it is hitting me. It's hitting me. Oh, oh. Jesus, I need you. Come and silence this storm in my life. Jesus sees this storm. Oh Lord Jesus, you healed daily. Come and heal me also. Come into my life. Come into my life and save me. I give myself to you. I want you as my father. Take me, Lord Jesus, as your son. Chief, 
Chief, you have to hold on, please. Now, I made up my mind. I'm not going back to that room. But, but your health, sir. There's nothing wrong with me. You can see. No one is saying that, sir. Your health is our concern. Now, if you don't discharge me today, I will discharge myself because I am no man's puppet. Take it out. Yes. We need to confirm that you're, you're fit for discharge. I'm wasting away on that bed, and that's my concern. Please calm down. Sir. How dare you tell me to calm down? I order you. Okay, sir. Please give us one day, just today, one more day, and you are out of here. If I repeat myself, I promise you, you will lose your job. Get out of my. You <laughs> have to sign to that effect, sir. How much did they pay you? Excuse me? I said, how much did they pay you? I don't understand what you're talking about. You knew about the house on fire. Everyone knows about your house on fire, sir. It's on the news. I was fit for discharge days ago. But some people paid you to keep me here so that they will take my company by first crushing it to the ground. <laughs> you are part of the people intending to crush me, right? What are you talking about, sir? Nobody paid me. God knows. Nobody paid me to keep you here. I will crush you, chief. I said, I will crush you to the ground. I will ruin your career. Chief, I can swear to you that I don't know what you are talking about. And I can swear to you, I will make poverty your landlord. <laughs> you will look back and regret ever hosting me in this hospital. Chief, if you've ever, ever, Heard of the devil. You have met him today. A lot may be going through your mind right now. What business do I possibly have with the woman who molested my son? What do you want from me? There's a saying. No matter how strong darkness is, just a ray of light is stronger. If we didn't pass through this darkness, we will never appreciate the light. This experience as bitter and unforgettable as it is. Hmm. Has made me a better person. I'm closer to my son now than ever before. I was so close to committing suicide, Lizzie, but I found Jesus. I found Jesus in the midst of my depression. Good for you. Is that what you came here all the way to tell me? Yesterday I was reading my Bible. And I realized how much Jesus wants us to forgive our enemies. What you did to me hurt me to the bone. But I came here to tell you that from the bottom of my heart, I forgive you. It is illogical, yeah. It is irrational. But it's an instruction from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lizzie, I forgive you. Please, please just go. Just leave me alone. <laughs> please just go. Go, leave me alone. It may be difficult for you to forgive yourself. You may think that you have ruined the life of a young and a brilliant boy. Whosoever Jesus sets free is freed indeed. Dele is a free boy. He's completely transformed. He's using his experience to inspire a lot of people. Every day, he gets closer to Jesus. Every day, his light shines brighter and brighter. Enough of all this. I don't need you here. Please, just go. I don't need you here. <laughs> Daddy, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not finished the food. This is too beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
Martins! Ah, is that Martins, my son? Table manners, please, daddy. Oh, is that the best teacher of the year? I mean, is that the best celebrity? <laughs> Martins, Martins. Behold. Behold. The best work of the year. You need to get some food for yes. Martins. Yes. Eh? Yes. We need to eat this breakfast together. <laughs> That's it. Uh, mommy. Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm very okay. okay. Are you not hungry? Yeah, no, I'm not, sir. I'm not hungry. What is my son? Just a little. Uh, you know, I'm not comfortable eating alone. Mm. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm not eating. <sighs> This is the first time you will refuse our food. You know what they say, Mama? There is a, a first time to everything. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. I'll be inside. In case you need anything, mm -hmm. please feel free to call me. Yeah. Thank you. Please yes, Mama. Martins, what is the problem? I mean, you are not in high spirit. This is not the Martins I used to know. Where is the problem? Baba. Do you remember this picture? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, this is the only picture hanging in my house. Hmm. It means the world to me. Pictures are meant to bring back good memories. But I've buried every evidence of my past. This picture is the only picture that, that represents the only good thing that has ever happened to me. But throughout yesterday, I was just looking at it. I could not sleep. Why? The picture. What happened to the picture? The question is what happened to the man in the picture? The man in the picture is sitting right before you. Ask me any question and I will answer you. Good. Now, do you know anybody by the name Inspector General Badi Akin today? Inspector General Badi? Yes, Inspector General Badi. Yes. Yes. I know him. He is the husband to... Uh, a woman I consider as one of my daughter. And uh, uh, the, the only time he came here, he came here just once, I mean, to this house just once. As a matter of fact, he sat there, and uh, that, was, that was the only time that he came. He came here only once. What is the matter? Thank you so much for inviting me here, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, yes, sir. My wife has uh, mentioned you about in our discussion. She has told me so many fantastic things about you. How you mentored her and uh, how she is who she is now with your help. You are so beautiful, sir. To God be the glory. Shola is our daughter and we are very proud of her. By the way, this boy you spoke about, who is he? Uh, well, yes, his name is Martins. He's the son of Chief Duro Sonya. Oh, 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 I know that name. Uh, Duro Sonya, the party chairman of uh, AU party. Exactly, exactly. He's the one, you know. The boy is troubled. He's, 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 the, the, the father is tired. Father is tired. It's so much that uh, the father has threatened to disown him as we speak. So we just need you to be a father to him, to be a positive influence in his life. You know, the boy has lost his way. Uh, we just need your help. Inspector General Badi. Yes, sir. This boy we are talking about must be coming from a mansion. Okay, now look around. This is not exactly a place a boy like this would want to stay. You see, uh, I'm just a pastor of a green church. I understand where you're coming from, sir. But, you know, I've come to realize that um, money can build a mansion, but uh, money can never buy love. 
what we need for the boy now is love, you know. Okay, you see, when you spoke to me some days back, my wife and I prayed about it, and we felt led to accept him. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. When should we expect him? It's going to be a great relief for the father. Uh, by tomorrow, by tomorrow I should be able to bring him. Tomorrow, yes, okay. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, sir. The, the father will be so, so relieved. And one more thing, sir. Please, I'd like you to have this money for his um, welfare and upkeep. Uh, no, no, no. This is not necessary. Ah, it is. It is. You don't need it. I, I insist, sir. It's just a token for his welfare. We have enough to take care of him. I understand, but, but I insist. Help us manage it, you know. Did you collect any money from him? My thanks. Did you collect any money from him? <sighs> I told him it was not necessary. Did you collect the money? I, I did, but he, he said the money is actually meant for your welfare. They sold me to you. Never. You bought me from them. I, I can never do such a thing. You are like a son to us. I thought you loved me. We love you, Matthias. Ah, the devil wants to tear this relationship apart, but we will not allow him. You gave the devil a chance when you took the money. This relationship is already torn apart. But Matthias, put yourself in my shoes. A stranger was brought to my house. And some money was offered for the upkeep, for the welfare. And you should try and understand. All that don't matter now. The bottom line is that you took the money. Uh, but how much are we even talking about here? 30,000 Naira. You bought me for 30,000 Naira? Ah, ah? You want to measure up the love, the care, the affection you enjoyed in this house with 30,000 naira that was dropped on my table, which I received unwillingly. <laughs> Martins, don't allow the devil to whisper to your ears. I thought I had a family. This is your family. I thought I had a home. Oh, this is your home. I think it's high time we, we stood up against the devil and rebook the devil. Because the more I try to explain to you the reason why I received the money, the more confused you are. I think the devil is at work here. The devil is at work here, Martins. See this picture right here? This picture. This was the only picture that made the meaning to me. It was the only picture that made sense to me. But now it no longer does. Oh, Martins! Let me understand. What is? What is? Hey, 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 Hello, Chief. Yeah, talk to me. How is he? Yeah, it's done. Good. Very good. <laughs> it was not broken. So, should we move to the next stage now? Yes, yes, Daddy. Proceed. Please keep quiet. Let me look at you. What can do you now? Hello, ladies. So, what's your name? My name is Flora. Oh. I'm Cynthia. Okay. Jessica. I'm Stephanie. Sonia. <laughs> yeah. I think I found the right person for the job. take forever before the authorities realize that she's not a student so we have to move very fast she has to strike very fast 
I understand, Sonia. Well, one more thing, sir. What is it? Can I come to your place after school for extra lessons? You've inspired me to be a better person. Yeah. 